so in the introduction i don't intend to bore you with a very simple and basic and boring definitions because i know that all of you who are watching this video lectures either you are doing btech or uh, you are already graduated from your btech so you must have studied this subject before or you are currently studying the subject right now in your college so we'll do we'll, we'll start with the very basic definitions which are already present in the books you can refer those definitions in the books or uh, by following these video lectures by the end everything will be clear so you don't actually need to refer any book uh, that is my personal suggestion okay so we'll be starting with the basic definitions of things like data what is the data what is the information what is a record what is a database and what is a management so if you have you already know all these information then you can skip this video otherwise it is better you can continue watching this video okay so the first definition is related to what is a data what is a data so data generally can be written as data is are the facts which can be recorded data are the facts which can be recorded okay and generally the data is abstract in nature so it is abstract in nature in nature so it is abstract you know, or you can say raw facts so data is representing raw facts now when you say something called as information information now this information is created using data okay so you can say information can be defined as the data with some with some added meaning with some added meaning that means you should be able to uh, ac acquire some kind of information you should be able to you know refer some kind of meaning from the data that is called as information and then there's something called as a record there's something called as a record so what is a record a record can be defined as the collection of logically related data it is the collection of collection of logically uh, related data logically related data okay now for example if i say for example if i say that i have some record like uh, maybe as student roll number is 501 maybe the name of the student is ram and maybe the marks he got out of 600 is 530 or you can say 503 so this is representing a record which is a record related to a student whose roll number is 501 and the marks he got is 503 okay so then there's something called as a database there's something called as a database okay now you can say the database can be defined as a collection of records data of base can be defined as collection of records okay collection of records or you can say or the database can also be defined as the collection of logically related data collection of logically related data logically related data okay and when i'm saying management there is something called as management we know what is a database now we need to understand what is a management and management in the case of database management system these are the some set of programs okay these are some thorough set of programs thorough set of programs thorough set of programs okay now if i say what is an example of a data what can i say an example of data for example we have some uh, text is there or you can say there are some numbers or there are some in images even a video all these things are representing some data or you can say even a speech all these things are representing a data and when i'm saying database data is a collection of records right for example if i say some text and numbers maybe uh, some geographical information system right in the or you can say maybe some bank information system or maybe some relational database that presents a database okay so roughly you can say roughly you can say it like this we have some data we store this data inside a database 
and in the database we are going to define some constraints we are going to define some constructs related to the data right or you can say define some construct related to the data and to manage the data now the software which is going to do this work that means defining construct and managing the data that is called as database management system that is called as a database management system so roughly what is a database management system if i am going to give you a definition it with the database management system so you can say database management system can be defined as collection of collections of logically related data related data and set of programs and set of programs to access those data to access those data that is called as a database management system and there are a lot of applications of database management system okay so if if we say we have a database if you have a database and we add a software which is called as database management system combinedly combinedly they are called as database system or you can say dbs or you can say database system database system okay there are huge 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 applications of database management system which we see in the daily basis there are huge huge applications we have applications like these databases are generally widely used in the banking sector in the banking sector the database is widely used in the telecom sector or you can say telecommunication sector telecommunications the database are widely used in reservation system in reservation systems the databases are widely used in sales and even in the scientific application in the scientific applications the database management system are having huge huge you know uh, uh, huge applications in these fields and when i'm saying what is the goal of a database management system here if i'm going to define what is the goal of dbms then the goal of database management system is the effective storage and retrieval of data from the database management or or you can say from the database okay so it is the effective effective storage storage and retrieval and retrieval of data from the database effective storage and retrieval of data from the database okay now see there is a there is a huge difference why why, why i am saying database and this there is something called as database management system is generally you can take a very simple example of old age banking system then in during if you go around around 20 or 30 years from uh, back from now you can see to store the data or information re related to the people who are having accounts in the banks they used to maintain some notebooks or files in in those files they have records related to the transactions which that person has performed and related to different details now during that time it was very very difficult to manage that that complete system because you know it, it is huge you can you can just imagine how huge it will be if we have banks throughout the country and every bank if for example there is a person whose account is in delhi and he someone is some uh, you know depositing the money in chandigarh or someone is depositing the money in some other area so it will be huge huge difficult for them to manage all those transactions because they have to fill out the fill out the records in chandigarh they have to fill out the records in delhi itself in the different locations so kind of it is kind of very very impossible to uh, deposit money in the different locations right so when we designed the databases databases means we are having a collection of those records and those collection of records can then be used we can perform some operations on those collections of records like we can retrieve some information we can in, uh, submit some kind of information we can you know deposit some kind of uh, structures or uh, some kind of new information inside the database and the database management systems makes us capable or you can say it makes our task so much easy so much easier so that we can perform those tasks on the databases okay so this is you know database management system is kind of a 
it is a tool in the hands of people like us who can make the best out of it we can make the best use out of it and we can change the whole world just with the help of database management system okay so in the next video let us check out what are the different structures we used in case of hierarchical database to store different kinds of uh, data okay